Dependability isn't a piece of hardware. It's peace of mind. It's the confidence you get from knowing that every time you get behind the wheel, you're in a vehicle that's capable and reliable. Dependability isn't driving just any brand. It's driving the number one most dependable mass market brand three years in a row by J.D. Power. It's time for Wild Breakaway, presented by Luther Kia of Bloomington. Alongside Mark Parrish, I'm Audra Martin. The points keep coming for the Minnesota Wild, now 4-0-1 in their last five games. The latest W, a 4-1 win over the Arizona Coyotes tonight in downtown St. Paul. 4-1, though, maybe a little deceiving. This was a much closer game than that score would indicate. It really was. The Arizona Coyotes played really well. The Minnesota Wild came out and just kind of set the tone. They played a very patient game, a very structured game, very confident game. Got in on the four check early, and obviously, when you get into a close game, when you need goals, coming down the stretch, trying to fight for a playoff position, you look for the leaders. You look at your big guys. You look for the veterans to step up, and who else but Kirill Kaprizov and Ryan step up huge for the Wild tonight. Obviously, Mark Andre Fleury had a strong night as well, but the big boys stepped up for the Wild in a game where you've got to beat the teams behind you if you're going to climb back into the playoffs. Two goals from Kirill Kaprizov, one from Ryan Hartman, one from Marcus Felino. That means now. Now nine, or excuse me, eight skaters have double-digit goals on the season with number 10 for Marcus Foligno. But yeah, big night from Ryan Hartman. Career-high 12-shot attempts. He has back-to-back -back goals now uh, in games after snapping a 20-game drought. So good to see him on the score sheet yet again tonight. He's got the game winner as well. And here's what his head coach had to say about the latest effort. I just see Hartman right now playing a totally different style of game than he was earlier. I mean, he's... Uh, you know, you. Uh, I'm really seeing, you know, why he's a valuable player. Um, he's moving his feet. He's making good plays with the puck. His shots a threat. He's playing faster. He's competitive on the puck. He's making good decisions. You know, those are all the things that, uh, you know, obviously we were looking, and I think he was looking to get to. And now you're, st uh, you're starting to see his game get to where it needs to be to be a an impact player for us. <laughs> The homestand wraps up on Thursday as the Anaheim Ducks make another visit to downtown St. Paul. The Ducks took game one in the three-game season series. So the Wild will we'll be out for a little bit of revenge on Thursday night. We hope you join us for Wild Live beginning at 6.30. Until then, for Mark Parrish, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on Wild Breakaway, presented by Luther Kia of Bloomington.